What's up guys, it's time, official time, the Samsung Galaxy S10 has been pretty hot in the news lately, everything and I mean everything we're going to be talking about in this very video is official, coming from Samsung, no leaks or rumors, this is everything that happened today and this week, brace yourself because you're about to enter the future. First up, the cameras, we know through leaks and rumors that Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus will rock triple cameras on the back. Now it's confirmed. Samsung has officially announced their first triple camera phone aka the Samsung Galaxy A7. Yep, the A7 did came after all despite them launching a phone named AA 2018 in the beginning of the year. Anyways, it's a triple camera phone. We got the main 24 megapixel sensor that has f1.7 apertures, a brand new camera sensor. The lens on the S10 will be a 16 megapixel one uh, compared to the 8 megapixel of the Galaxy A7. So everything will be on a next level. Now this Galaxy A7 phone is a mid-range phone. It's going to cost around $400 in Europe and it's coming to India really really soon so hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on this soon and do all kinds of videos but yeah the triple cameras are confirmed to happen with the S10 and S10 Plus. Next up is the confirmation of the four Galaxy S10 models. We know from the start that Samsung is working on three Galaxy S10. Three Samsung Galaxy S10 is expected to come with a 5.8 inch edge display and a dual rear camera. Now we have heard that this model will also going to have triple camera sensors, but as posted to the XDA, it could actually have dual cameras because Samsung wants to make the S10 Plus to stand out more compared to the other models. The Beyond Do S10 Plus will rock the largest Samsung flagship display, coming at 6.44 inch display size and triple rear cameras on the back and also double front facing camera on the front, which is crazy. So five cameras will be there on the S10 Plus model, S9 and Note 9. This further confirms that S10 will have a better skin to body ratio and less bezels. Now, another thing that the CEO confirmed is that the Galaxy S10 family will have amazing colors. We already know that these are the colors that the Samsung Galaxy S10 will be made available. And this is for all the Galaxy S10 variants, so it's not limited to the specific model. And it's been said that it will surpass the beauty of Huawei's gradient color. So Samsung is doing something amazing with the colors. We actually saw the gradient colored Galaxy phone that was back. Now Samsung has announced the Galaxy J6 Plus phone that actually comes with a side fingerprint reader. For the first time on a Samsung phone, we have a side fingerprint reader. So it is expected that this Beyond Zero Galaxy S10 Lite model could also have the side display fingerprint scanner and of course it can have the single rear camera or dual we're not exactly sure about that but it's going to be the cheaper s10 model it will most likely compete with the iphone 10r the beyond one set phone with the in display camera we don't know the specific what he actually meant by massive but what we can definitely say is that the bezels will be cut down significantly compared to the S9 family. So thanks to the CEO himself, it is confirmed that the Galaxy S10 will going to have a massive design change. Samsung has already shown the sound emitting display that we'll probably see on the S10 that has this sound firm that Galaxy S10 is coming in three flavors with one ultra premium 5G model. So a total of four Galaxy S10 models are coming. So here is what these model specs are. We have the Beyond Zero model. This is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite. We're not sure about its name, but uh, it's going to have a 5.8 inch display, a flat 5.8 inch display with a side mounted fingerprint scanner and a single rear camera on the book with the 5G connectivity enabled for certain markets. Next up is the most important and that is the design of the Galaxy S10. Earlier this week, speaking to the Chinese media, DJ Go, the freaking CEO himself, confirmed that Galaxy S10 will have a massive, now I mean massive design change. He specifically mentioned the word design. This is Galaxy S9 Plus. Imagine what massive means in Samsung's dictionary. It could actually be a full bezel list, uh, but Samsung will do it without a notch. So that is a big win. A lot of people want to see a notchless display with no chin. Now this huge design change is further confirmed by a benchmark leak that shows a 19 by 9 
aspect ratio screen, the code name SM405F, which is actually a fake name that Samsung used to hide the real model number. They do that in the past, so this device actually has a infinity display with a 19 by 9 aspect ratio compared to the 18.5 by 9 on the current Galaxy S8 technology built into the display. That will get rid of the need for an earpiece and that leaves the front camera, which they could implement inside the display. We're not sure if they are able to do it right now. This image was actually floating around Vivo and it's actually a Galaxy S8 Photoshop image, but something like this can happen. We can't say for sure what that massive change is. Uh, again, you can expect a significant change in the bezels. The front will look more futuristic, probably with no chin at all. That is something Huawei has done with the Mate 20 Pro, the mid-range phone, with a 5 megapixel depth sensing sensor for those beautiful live focus shots. And then an ultra wide 8 megapixel sensor is also there. This is great and this confirms that Samsung is working on a flagship triple camera setup for the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. The S10 will have the most complete camera setup because you will see the optical zoom and wide angle lens along with the variable aperture beast in the middle all on one phone. That has never been done before so S10 will have that. The wide for real. Get excited guys. It is going to be a hell of a phone. I can't wait for Samsung to bring the ultimate heat in next year because foldable phone or Galaxy S10 variants 5G. I mean, I can already see Samsung winning the race in a lot of different areas. So yeah, this is everything that is officially going to happen from the software release, thanks to the software reveal, plus the words coming from the CEO himself. We can definitely say that it is official and I am excited. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think about the Galaxy S10 model? Which one are you most excited about? And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.